Hello and welcome to the part 2 of making the shopping mall game board. In this tutorial I show you how I made the outside walls. So grab some snacks and enjoy! I started with cutting 5mm cardboard to the basic shape of the walls. I needed three of them. Next, I measured and cut all the windows and doors. I also checked the size of the hole if it fits to the miniature model. To avoid any errors, I mark the parts that will be cut off with an X. For the upper part of the walls I used 1mm cardboard which I cut by the length of the specific wall and with height 6, 5.5 and 5cm. I check if the size fits. It was important to make the walls in the right order as the parts overlap each other. When everything was ok, I glued the parts together and to the wall. For the middle wall, I glued the parts separately as they had to be placed in a different positions due to the overlap. For the lower parts of the walls I choose the thin styrofoam. I cut it to the proper size and I used my self-made brick matrix to give them the brick texture. After that I glued the styrofoam to the walls. The 
joints between two pieces will be hidden by the pillar in next stage. I cut the holes to get the final look of the wall. Now it is time for the pillars. For that I choose structural styrofoam which I cut to the size 1 to 1 cm and 10 cm long. Some of those pillars I cut in half as I needed both sizes for future work. I glued the half cutted pillars to the bottom of the wall and around the entrance. For the pillars, I did some more cutting as I decided to make them thinner. These are 5 mm wide. I placed them to hide the joints of the bricks. I designed and laser cut some details that I wanted to be perfectly matched. As I wanted to magnetize every element on the board, I cut holes in the stripes to put the magnets in. First I glued the stripes to the bottom of my walls and linking places. When the glue is dry, it's time for the magnets. I'm using 3x3mm ones. I'm gluing them with standard PVA glue. For the main sign over the entrance, I choose, from obvious reasons, my logo. I left the cutoffs and now I'm using it as a stencil. 
After positioning, I glue first and the last letters and leave it to dry. After a while, I could easily add the rest without worrying that they will move during the gluing process. For the back side of the wall, I used the same 1mm cardboard that I was using for the tops of the front. I cut it to the proper size and glue it into its position. I decided that I want to do only the edge of the roof. For that I used some MDF cutovers from my other projects. I glued them one by one in a row. construction was ready and I could start priming black for the back side and white for the front again paints that I am using are typical wall acrylic paints For the final color, I needed to wait a little, as the white paint must get dry. Now I could finally start coloring my walls. First I took light brown and dry brushed it over the bricks. Next I dry brushed with light red. I randomly paint some bricks with dark brown. Dark red, and a mixture of light red and orange.
Finally, I overbrushed everything with orange. I painted the top part of the walls with dark grey. Next, using a sponge, I tapped lighter grey over the whole upper area. For the pillars I used light grey. and followed by lighter grey. The same color was used for the roof edge. I highlighted pillar's edges with white paint. For the shop window, I took the frames that I cut earlier and I painted them light grey. Next I took plastic packaging and I cut the frame size sheet. As I wanted the window to be broken, I cut the middle in irregular shapes imitating glass leavings. To make them look more realistic, I indent the edges. By using hot gun, I glued both frames and plastic sheet together. shop window was ready to install into its position.
Now I made some billboards which are popular over the shopping mall walls. I designed and printed 7 billboards and I cut them to the frame size. and I glued them to the walls. At this stage walls were ready. In the next part I'll show you how I made shops inside the market. If you liked it, please click thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you are interested in my other projects, click the link below. If you want to become a supporter and watch more of my future projects, go to buy me a coffee or click the link in the description. Thanks for watching!